Hello and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. As you can hear, I'm a little bit better from my last video, so I thought it was time to do a watercolor video. I've been promising this video for quite some time now, but we had a few hiccups, um, which I'll tell you about down at the track in this video. But I want to talk to you about a Etsy seller that I discovered through Julia from Julia's Bento. And um, she had purchased from Chandra, who is the Etsy seller behind Artistic Cat. Now, here in Australia, we play we pay a premium for art supplies. Like I'm I'm seriously shocked at the amount of money we pay to have high end art supplies. And because our dollar is so poor at the moment, um, it's hard to even buy online. Now, I started off with the cheap, big watercolor set from, um, you guys would probably get it from Michaels, we got it from Big W, and everyone's got it, and mine has been passed off to my daughter. And that was what I used for a really long time, that was the watercolors that I used. They were cheap and they were they did the job. And then I moved on to the Koi watercolor sketch. These were still quite um, affordable, and as you can see, it's been well loved. And I always lusted after more expensive, higher end watercolors. And of course, when you're an artist, you want to use better quality stuff, and you want to upgrade over and over. It's just the nature of of creating. Now, to buy Daniel Smith watercolors in Australia was heart-wrenchingly expensive. I remember going into a the Sydney Art Supply Store and looking at the tubes of paint and saying to my husband, I can't justify spending 20 to $30 um, for one tube of paint. I will never, I'll never get a decent enough palette. It'll always cost me a fortune. And I'm a mum and we're on a family budget and I have to save for my supplies. It's just the way it is. I can't just run out and buy a whole heap of things. And that's why you don't see a lot of hauls on my channel because it takes me forever to save up for them. We get a monthly allowance each and it takes me forever. So spending $30 on one tube of paint, it was just, I couldn't justify it. So when Julia said, um, sent me a message way back when, she said, I've found a seller that sells half pans of Daniel Smith watercolors. She actually buys the tubes and pours the half pans herself. It's a really affordable way to try out a whole heap of colors or to test the brand. Sorry about the beeping in the back. That's my iMessage on my computer. Um, so, where was I? This notion of buying half pans online was really appealing and I went to the website went to her Etsy store and got lost in the beauty of it all and they were affordable you know for thirty dollars I could try four or five colors and be able to build my own palette I know when you get palettes sometimes you get colors that you don't use you don't like but this way you can build your own um, color palette to your own preferences and I became addicted so I was using my allowance to buy Daniel Smith half pans from Chandra and she hand pours them all herself as you can see I have um, I buy little tins and collect um, or not collect and put them into um, sets and things like that I was not paid to make this video and I was not asked to make this video. I wanted to make this video for people who want to try higher end art supplies, higher end watercolors, but affordably, but, but an affordable way to do it. And um, I think this business needs more attention. And I think she needs more orders because I think what she does is amazing. It's amazing for mums on a budget who want to try a higher end art supply, who want to experience the pigmentation and the creaminess of a higher end watercolor, but can't afford to spend 30 and $40 on a single tube of paint. I know I couldn't. I, I have a tube of white and that's all I've got. And um, I cringed paying for that. So I have bought quite a lot from her because I wanted to try a lot of colors. So every now and again, I have 
a list of colours which I have no idea where my little sheet has gone with all my watercolours on it. But you've seen it in my creative week videos. You've seen me putting together palettes and I approached her and said I want to do a video about your store because I think what you do is amazing and I think people need to know about it. I think people who want to have a little pocket field notes um, travel palette can go and choose the colours they want, not have to bow down to the colours that are given to you in a set. And then I offered to create palettes for her. I've only done a few palettes, but the one that you've seen the most on my Instagram is the Portable Rainbow, which are my absolute favourites and they're in here. Now, in my um, Portable Rainbow set, I have colours that I love to create with. You may not like these colours, but they are my absolute favourite and they just so happen to make a really bright coloured rainbow. So I will do some swatches of my palette on this video so you can see what they look like. And I have done some of my um, art with just using those palettes, those colours in my palette I should say. So as you can see this is my Rotofadden. And I started my little housekeeper and she's done in the colours of my uh, portable rainbow, the little raven ink favourites. Now, I am not suggesting that you go, and, you go and buy the palette. I am no way. I just made a favourites palette because I, they're the colours I love to use the most. Um, I've also made a Halloween palette. I've also made a Christmas palette and I've made a spring florals palette and then a really soft sort of wedding inspired palette on her website but when you go to her Etsy store she has them all in colour family so you can go through if you don't like any of the pre-made palettes you can make your own it's that simple um, Chandra has been nothing but lovely and her customer service is amazing and um, the reason why it's taken me so long to make this video was because it took us so long to get the photos uploaded to the website now Chandra has had some really life-altering circumstances happen to her recently. Her son has been going through a lot of brain surgeries and I have followed her story and it has broken my heart and this is another reason why I wanted to make this video. Um, the sales from these palettes will go towards her astronomical, astronomical medical bills for her son and if I can help in some way, shape or form, I'm going to do it. And so I want to implore you, if you're on the fence about buying some watercolours from her, just think about how much it will help. Even if you bought yourself a little palette for Christmas, for your Hobonichi or your journals, anything, I think she would be um, absolutely blown away. And I want to generate some sales for her if I can, and I hope to. And she has also offered me a discount code to my viewers, a 10% discount code as a thank you for doing this video. So I'm passing that on to you. So if that is a deal breaker, guys, if you want to help someone in the spirit of Christmas, help make her burden, and I can't believe the, the American medical system, it is scary the amount of money you guys have to pay for surgeries. We are very blessed in this country to have a very good health system where we are not out of pocket very often for medical bills or surgeries or anything like that. It is all covered on a public health system. So I can't imagine the bills that are coming from the hospital to her door at the moment and what a horrible time of year to do it. Um, so this is my way of trying to help. I know I have quite a big viewer base and I know a lot of you guys are very interested in watercolours and um, journaling and using them in your journals. So if you're on the fence, let that be a deal breaker and just buy yourself five colours and just get a, get immersed in the beauty of Daniel, Daniel Smith's watercolours. I know I'm obsessed. As you can see, I'm obsessed. And I have bought them all. They, these have not been provided to me. I have paid for every single watercolour you see here. So, let's talk about my favourites. So... In my favourites, we have, as you can see in the middle of my book, this is where I was doing all my testing. I know people have seen this in my flips and you've gone, you know, why have you got paint swatches in the middle of your book? It was because I was testing colours and trying to figure out colour combos and that sort of thing. So <clears throat> in my palette, in my favourites, 
I'm going to get my little palette here. So this is what I carry in my pencil case. It goes everywhere with me. So I use these colors constantly. I'm always using them. I have, you know, they've got, it's got everything I need. And so let's pull them out of my little thing here. She also writes the, um, where's my lens? She also writes the name of them. Come on, focus. There we go. She writes the name of the half pans on there. So when you get them, you know what colors they are. So there's that, which is always handy. And so I will show you what comes in my palette if you choose to purchase the Little Raven Ink Favorites. Now, when choosing these colors, I went for punch more than anything else. My palette is a little bit more expensive than all the others, and that's because I think I picked I picked high pigmentated colors. I went for colors that will pack a punch, and it means that you'll get a very huge variety. You can go really, really bright, really, really light. They're very, very versatile, and that's what I wanted. I wanted colors that would um, be able to give you a wide variety of looks in such a small color range. So my absolute favorite color, the color that was going to be in my palette regardless is this neon pink and it's called Opera Pink. It is by far my absolute favorite color. I use it in everything. If you see my journal pages, you will see that this color is everywhere and it's not showing up true to color because I haven't got a heap of light in my studio today but I needed to make this video. So Opera Pink is like a neon fluoro pink. It's amazing and if you only buy one color in your purchase I'll be buying this color. I have backup. I have a backup of this color because I don't want it to run out and I use it that much. So we have Opera Pink we have Bordeaux, which is a beautiful, rich, deep violet color, almost like a really dark um, magenta pink. And you know that these colors, as you can see, this is really hugely vibrant and it can be, um, you know, shaded out to become a really soft, soft pink. As you can see there, I wanted my colors to go from really pack a punch to really soft and light, depending on how much water you add. So I wanted them to be uh, value for money because that's what I'm all about. I want colors that are going to do more than just be a one, set, uh, a one shade deal. We have a beautiful um, red, which is called Carmine. I love this red. I use this a lot. This is a good um, cheek and lip color. I use this um, softly on the cheeks of a lot of my girls. And then we move on into Perinone Orange, which is also another really beautiful, bright, mandarin-like orange. As you can see, I went I went for vibrancy and colors that pack a punch because in my journals I like to use really vibrant colors. It's a it's a calling card of mine. If I can make something bright and colorful over you know soft and whimsical, I'll go for bright and colorful. I'm all about the brightness. Then we have quinacridone gold, which is like a really beautiful um, bright yellow but it has like hints of um it's really like a like a brown almost it just depends on how you shade it so you can get like little um, variancies there it's a beautiful gold i love it golden yellow it's great for suns great for backgrounds that one gets a lot of work out in my journals i've also picked this one's hard to pronounce, uh, Pathalo Turquoise. And this one is, oh, so pretty. As you can tell, I'm in love with my set. It's my go-to. It is so beautiful and rich and vibrant that I 
I can see me repurchasing this set over and over and over. Then I have picked um, Interthrone Blue for a, a variation. Such a rich, rich, bright colored blue there. And then one of my favorite movies is Amelie. And this green reminds me of the green that's featured heavily in that movie. And that's the, pretty much the reason why I picked it. This is called um, Diopside Genuine. And it just reminds me of the front cover green on the Amelie movie. And if you don't know what I'm looking at, just look up the front cover. And it reminds me so much of that green. And I love that green. Good memories, good memories. Now I've also picked Indigo. Indigo is one of my really, it's probably second favorite to the Opera Pink. And it is like an inky, inky blue. And it is so pretty. I reached for this color more than I thought I would because it is so vibrant. Um, if you look in here, this is Indigo and the Turquoise in action in my journal. Turquoise is not as bright here because I used a lot of water, but the indigo was pushed and then I've just used a white gel pen there to, to do all the writing and the polka dots. Oh, indigo I use. I wanted to put indigo in every set, but I couldn't, so I put in my favorites instead. And the last one, which some people may disagree with, but I think it's a staple, is called Lamp Black. And this it was because if you wanted to do... Um, inky text or um, calligraphy or anything like that all the beautiful um, lettering that's happening in the planner community I thought a black would be a staple and this is my favorite black it's very very beautiful deep rich um, black and it's my favorite black of all there are a few other different types of blacks but this one is the richest and it gets the most intense um, so I picked the best <laughs> the best color and um, I'm going to insert a few pictures of the other sets. I'm not going to swatch everything. Otherwise, this video will be ridiculously long. But this, these colors here are in my favorites. If these appeal to you, if, they, if you think that you get a lot of use out of them, um, they are the Little Raven Ink favorites. And I call it Portable Rainbow. So they go into my little tiny tin and they pop into my pencil case. And I'm, I'm absolutely in love with them. I haven't been creating um, with much else lately. As you can see, I used the um, set here as well. So this is being you. My favorites are all these colors here. Um, I, have, I haven't used anything else except for a little bit of pencil. Um, so I have been working with my favorite set. And I'm, I'm, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed, guys. That's why I made favorites. So I hope... Uh, this video helps you decide to make your own little palette. Buy yourself, treat yourself for Christmas and buy yourself either a, a pre-made palette which she has not just mine but many other palettes on her site. Um, and that was one of the first orders I made was a, um, a color wheel palette that she had on her website. It was one of the first things that I bought from her. And um, she's also got a listing on there for her son's favorites, um, which I thought was a beautiful touch, and I'll probably end up buying that in the end. Um, and the discount code for you guys is Little Raven Ink. Now, I will put the discount code in the description box below so you know what to input, when, and that will give you 10% off your entire purchase. Her shipping is reasonable, it is fast, even when it comes to Australia, it is fast, um, and, it's a flat, and it's flat rate shipping. So I could order a whole heap of colors and it wouldn't cost me the earth, like some Etsy sellers seem to think that shipping to Australia means charging you more than the item you purchase, which kind of miffs me. But honestly, guys, I wouldn't be making this video unless I absolutely adored what she does. I think she gives the average person who is on a tight budget to experience high-end watercolors and to um, really enjoy working with 
with beautiful um, things. Yes, it is lovely to work with cheaper supplies and some people have the argument that working with cheaper supplies is just as good, it's about the process, but sometimes a little bit of colour and a little bit of pigment and buttery buttery watercolours is good for the soul. And in this instance, it is good for the soul. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I'm about to film another one for my December daily process and wrap up my um, creative week video. So all the links to Chandra's site and the discount code will be in this description box. Remember that all the sales and the proceedings go to her son's medical bills. This is not so she can make a heap of profit. This is to help a lady in crisis and um, I haven't told her I was going to talk about this side of things but I hope it's what makes you take the leap and order from her even if it's just one or two so please get an order in and I will talk to you soon have a wonderful day go and grab yourself some yummy yummy Daniel Smith watercolors thanks bye